The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will be live. my fellow warriors for me Ken Moore and today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to squat uh, how to perform a basic bodyweight squat yes you heard me the basic bodyweight squat is a movement that's pretty simple but very uh, technical I won't say very technical a lot more technical than people tend to believe it's, uh, it is and this is going to be a video that's going to help uh, beginners uh, uh, and help them avoid type of any type of injuries or knee tweak knee problem that happens very often because they really don't know how to go about it when they first start and it may be um, helpful as well for some intermediate um, what you call them, lifter so, uh, exercise practitioners as well now who knows so without further ado let's get to it the body weight squat is uh is a it's a movement that involves your hip hinge and a knee uh knee flexion and you're gonna start by setting yourself about shoulder width or slightly outside of shoulder width the distance will depend on on your um your hip structure your entrepometry it varies some people will have to go wider some people can go super narrow myself with time i figure slightly outside of the shoulder width is the perfect uh, uh distance that i that I, I tend to to use and then as of the angle to use for your 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 feet you want to go you, you don't want to be perfectly straight because as you externally rotate your hip, your knee may uh, so maybe subject to too much torque. So I would rather go maybe 15 to 12 degrees out. So it's enough for you to create some type of pressure and uh, uh, torque in the ground. Think of your feet as screwdrivers where you create torque before you descend uh, to the abyss. So shoulder weight. Uh, Start outside of shoulder width, leg a little bit outside, uh, about 12 degrees. And another easy way to figure how far away your feet should be will be get the stance that you need, squeeze your glute, and then whatever direction your your feet will be uh, positioned at, you want to use that. Uh, which um, you want to use that angle or just slightly come in inward, so it gives you more room to create, you know that torque in the floor so that being said you want to start by retracting your back here I usually some people like to do, do it this way I like to hug my chest so that it mimic uh, the movement of the ball if you have a ball on your back you're not gonna be that way right so having my, my, my hand on my chest like this mimic the movement of uh, the same movement pattern observed when you have the ball uh, load up on, on your on your back because from this way I want to start by breaking my hips down because the first uh, the first joint that you break is going to be the one that take the load and for this movement the first joint we want to load uh, what you call it, the, it will be the the hip the hip joint so we want to start by breaking in and then descend to the bottom slightly break parallel and then back up start by breaking the hip first descend slightly break parallel and then back up for those who have full flexibility you could pretty much go well below and go as to grass but it's not mandatory as long as you can slightly break parallel you can come back up some people really are bad with the hip mobility they can just go um, slightly I mean they can just reach uh, parallel or whatever range of motion they can reach feel free to do so eventually you can increase the range of motion but the most important thing you want to have is start by breaking your hip first I don't want you to be reaching to block out because you still need to be fairly neutral not too much extension of your spine so squeeze your glutes neutral retract your shoulder blade break and then as you descend you want to make sure that you track your knee from drifting to forward and then as you break parallel then you can relax and let your ankle mobility 
drive, um, it lets your knee drift forward. Not until you break parallel. At any given time, you want to be tracking past uh, your toes. So yes, you can track past the toes. The only thing is you have to make sure that you break parallel first before you let it go. So we go again. Shoulder weight, create some torque. Break your hips, down, squat, and up. Down, squat, and up. So that's how we're gonna be going. I went through a whole, uh, <laughs> uh, what you call, uh, tutorial of um, uh, how to how to squat. So that's that. Hope it was uh, pretty useful. And uh, yes, so like, comment, subscribe, share it if need be. And if uh, you guys like it, we can have some series of uh, home workout videos that we can do uh, during this uh, time, you know. Everything is, and we always be, be smooth, and make an animal way. Salute, subscribe, 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 like, comment, comment. Peace. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will be live.